Why do you write poetry? This is so weird. Um, <laughs> Tell me. I know, but this is more difficult than I thought. Okay. Um, I don't know. I guess I write poetry because, like, sometimes I'll just think of something and... I don't know, I like reading poetry because then someone explains something that you've always thought or you've always like felt and then they explain it and you're like, yes, that's what it is! And then it's there in words and I think that that's really cool. Um, and it rarely happens that I, that I can do that, that I can like put what I'm thinking or like an idea that I have into words, but then when you do, it's like the best feeling ever because like you'll just be thinking about something or worrying about something for like a long time and it'll just like running through your head and then when you finally put it down on paper and it's just like there in a nice little paragraph, you're like, yes, that's exactly what I think. And then it's just, yeah. And then hopefully other people can relate to it, but that's not really the point. Like I used to try to write poetry hoping other people would read it or trying to like make other people read it. I didn't want to read it. It also wasn't very good poetry because I was like in grade eight, but then I realized I wasn't enjoying it at all because I wasn't actually writing what I was thinking or I wasn't writing ideas that I had. I was writing wondering what people would think when they read it. So yeah. 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 <laughs> so like, what is poetry? Like um, I don't know, I think I... I don't know, I don't know if I could even call what I write poetry because it's kind of just like a stream of consciousness. It's just blah on a page because I know that if I try to make it rhyme I'm not going to be able to say everything that I want to say or I'm going to have to throw in a random line that doesn't make sense. So for me, but it's also like regardless of the structure it's a little bit different than just a block of text because it's you almost read it like slower or I don't know. You just I don't know I like poetry because it's not like a book you don't just read it beginning to end and then you're done it's you can read it over and over and like read it slowly and like appreciate it and get something out of it the more times you read it yeah so I think that's kind of cool yeah <laughs> um but like so it doesn't have to rhyme so like what makes it yeah you said what makes it different kind of like how's it different than like a diary is it different than a diary it's some of what I write is kind of like a diary, like they could be diary entries or like maybe really short blog posts sometimes, but I guess they're just, they're not full sentences, they're just kind of like fragmented ideas in a row that kind of go together. I'm not explaining it very well. <laughs> no, I, I don't know, I don't know what poetry is, it's just... I feel like it's also more realistic to how people think, like you read a book and you don't actually think in that way. You don't think in full sentences in like perfectly contrived paragraphs. You think in these little like fragments, in these little like blurbs of words and yeah and it kind of sometimes jumps really weirdly between things but that's kind of how you think. So I think it's kind of natural when you read poetry just even though it's not a proper sentence structure it still just works because you're used to your brain working that way. Yeah. Kind of. So when did you start writing poetry? Um, I think like middle school. I always wanted to be a writer, but I thought I'd write like books and stuff just because I loved reading. Um, and then like, yeah, I was, I had this, like I had an idea one time for a poem, so I was just like, well, I'll try it. And then I wrote it and I really loved it. And so then I kept trying to write poems, but then, I don't know, I, I would, I started out trying to write them to make them sound really like fancy and really nice and really all this, and then it, they just didn't have any substance to them, and then, I don't know, it's kind of interesting because the poems that I, I end up appreciating the most of mine are the ones that are just when I was really angry or really, like, upset about something, and then I was like, well, I have to write it down, and I just wrote it down, and it ends up being this, like, really snarky, like, sassy, just, like, almost angry letter to, like, the world or to someone, and it just... Yeah, it's a lot better than what I started out as with being like, oh, I like reading, so I should try writing, and then like trying to write things that I thought people wanted to read. And now I am completely okay with no one ever reading things I write. It just feels better to write them. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
So like, you obviously are okay with people reading them. Yeah. Like, but like, where's that line? Like, what you share, what you don't share. Like, do you not write stuff down? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, um, I don't know. Like, I've I've never not written something down that I wanted to. I guess there's some stuff that I wouldn't share. There's a lot of stuff that I wouldn't share with most people, but also like. I don't really care if people read it or if people see it, especially if they don't know me. It's kind of almost weirder if they know me and then they read it because sometimes you'll take like a little idea that you have and you'll use that to inspire you to like blow it out of proportion. So then if people that know you read it, they'll be like, is this actually how you feel? And you're like, well, sometimes like a little bit, but not like my life isn't falling apart. I'm okay. But yeah, I'm okay with other people reading it. I think it's just that now when I write it, I don't write it for an audience and then and I don't write it thinking of what it would be like if I read it as someone else if that makes sense and then when like when you asked if I could like show some to people I read some of them as if they weren't by me and I was like well that line's not gonna make any sense because it references something in my life that like other people don't know so they're gonna be like that doesn't make sense but like that's okay like, you can still appreciate a poem if there's some of it that you're like, that doesn't make any sense to me, or I don't know what you're talking about, because I didn't originally write it for other people to relate to it. I just wrote it for me, but if other people can relate to it, then that's pretty cool. So do you, like, go back and, like, reread your poems and stuff? Yeah, I think I do, I do sometimes. Um, like, now I kind of type them up because I don't usually, like, think of them in the right order, so it's a lot easier if you're on a laptop. Um... But yeah, especially if I don't have my laptop or whatever, and I have, like, I have a book that I used to write poetry in all the time, and so every time I'd kind of write something new, I'd... <laughs> I just burped. <laughs> I just shouldn't have said anything, it wasn't that obvious. Okay. Um... <laughs> sorry. I could make a whole video of you burping. <laughs> I know, I burped so I also just chugged water. I don't know why I was like, yeah, we're gonna videotape, let's chug water. Um, okay. Oh, yes, um, <coughs> um, yeah, sometimes when I will write a new poem, I'll go back through my old ones, and it's especially cool to, like, start at the beginning and start reading them, and then just see kind of how you progress, or, like, the things that were important to you that you don't really think about anymore, um, but it was really interesting, one of the last times that I wrote a poem down in my old poetry book that I used to keep when I was in like middle school and high school just because I didn't have my laptop with me and I I wrote it and I thought that it was the first time I had written anything about this one topic and then I flipped to the very beginning of my journal and the first poem was like very very similar and it was from like I can actually tell you it's from 2010 it's like six years ago and it was kind of along the same lines and I was like part of me was like wow I have done absolutely nothing in six years, I'm still in the same place asking the exact same questions, but it was kind of cool because, yeah, it's kind of nice to have a record of things that you thought about through the years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, when do you write, like? When? You, yeah. I don't know, I would love to just be able to sit down and write every day or to journal or to just be like, oh, I'm in the mood to write, and then sit down and write stuff, but I've never really been able to do that. And I tried for a while when I was in creative writing class in high school, which was pretty cool. Um, and then I did come up with some cool stuff, but it was usually just really frustrating, because <laughs> you just have nothing to say, and so it's really hard to make yourself write. Um, I usually just write when, like, an idea comes to me, but it'll take, like, a, a day or two, like, I'll think of an idea, and then... I'll kind of mull it over and not really think about it as a poem, just think about it as this like new way of looking at something. Or like you'll think of one line and you're like, that's a great line, like that's a great quote, I should put that on a t-shirt. And then you think about it some more and you're like, that would make a good poem. And then when you write it down, you just realize you have more ideas along the same lines. But yeah, so I guess I would say I just write when I have an idea or when I like have to write because I'm angry about something or upset about something and I think it'll help to write down. How I feel. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll just like 
what are you afraid about? We've kind of like covered that, but like, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I write about like where I think my life is going when I'm like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> um, or I, I write about, especially in first year, since I'm in international development, I wrote a lot about like things that frustrated me about the world and like, yeah, why there's so many shitty things happening in the world, and just kind of getting out my frustration with that. Um, I write a lot of, like, feministy poetry, but it's mostly just, like, I'll go to the gym and just see, like, women on the treadmill just running and running and running, and, like, like, you can do whatever you want at the gym, like, if you, like, like, cardio's great, weights are great, do whatever you want, but it just, then it kind of strikes me when I look around that, like, women have been taught that they have to, like, be less and be smaller, and they have to, like, working out for women is supposed to be to, like, lose weight and to, like, be this tiny person, and then I just see women, like, running on the treadmill, wasting, like, not wasting away, but, like, getting smaller, and then you see men, like, bulking up and getting stronger, and it's just kind of, like, It'll make me think about the way that we raise men and the way that we raise women and like it's not surprising that we have gender-based violence when men are taught that they have to be these strong people and women are taught that if they have too much muscle they'll look butch or they'll look like a man and like nobody will want them. And like, Why are we con more concerned with someone wanting us than feeling strong and feeling capable and feeling like we could protect ourselves or we could do whatever we wanted because we're strong enough to do it. And so it's just, I don't know, I. Like, I've actually thought of a lot of poetry when I'm at the gym. <laughs> um, also, because it's just, like, a good time when your mind's not really doing anything. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I just kind of, yeah, I write about, like, how I relate to the world, I guess. Or, like, I've written, I've written one called, like, about if I was giving advice to my little sister, which I don't have a little sister, but if I did, or, like, a younger version of myself. And I've written one about, like, directed towards fathers and like how they should treat their daughters um yeah I write about I write about like my faith sometimes just kind of struggling with that um yeah just like angry poems at God it's always a good time usually people don't read those because they're just they're not very nice to read they're just kind of a jumble of thoughts but yeah, I don't know what else I write about. <laughs> <laughs> you read some of them, most of them. Um.